Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fat Burn here. Today I want to introduce you to a natural remedy, a supplement, if you will, that can be helpful for certain types of bloating and distension. I'm gonna tell you what it is in just a couple of seconds. Don't go away, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about a natural remedy for bloating and distension that you may have heard about called probiotics. Probiotics are the friendly bacteria that live in our guts and are present in common foods like yogurt. These guys play a critical role in our bodies and scientists are wondering whether our over-reliance on antibiotics, which disrupt these guys, is causing significant health and developmental issues. At any rate, let's discuss the role of probiotics in treating bloating and distension. There's three points I want to make about probiotics. Number one, while probiotics have been shown to be helpful in preliminary clinical studies for treating bloating and distension, the majority of these studies were performed on people with IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. In other words, if your bloating is a result of a food intolerance or some other reason, it's not clear whether probiotics will provide any benefit for you at all. At the same time, it's never a bad idea to take probiotics once in a while, especially after a course of antibiotics, just to ensure and maintain optimal gut health. Point number two, the effects of probiotics are strain specific. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, what it means is different strains of bacteria offer different benefits. So you can't just take any old probiotic, you have to take the probiotics shown to be effective for bloating and distension. So instead of trying to pronounce those here and massacring the names, I'm going to include a list of them below along with a couple of product recommendations if you're interested in experimentation. Number three, not all probiotics are created equal when it comes to oral supplementation. Many do not survive the harsh environment of the stomach and are broken down before they can do any good. For that reason, you may want to experiment with more resistant strains, and I'll include a link below this video, or also include supplementing with a prebiotic supplement, which I will discuss in another video. So to recap, the right probiotics may be helpful for treating IBS-related bloating and distension. As far as other bloating and distension not related to IBS, the benefits of probiotics is largely unclear at this time. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, it would be awesome if you could give us a thumbs up. If you've got your own experiences with probiotics for treating bloating and distension with IBS or without, we would love to hear your feedback and your comments, as would our viewers. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I invite you to do so. It's completely free, and you'll be updated whenever we post new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again really soon.